Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today I present to you Space Cartels, a play and earn metaverse where you can earn real money just by playing. I'm going to be taking through the game and how to play it, how to access it right now, how to get the NFTs. And we're also going to be checking out the trailer first up though, because that is a really nice summary of exactly what you can expect from this game. Also, we're going to be giving away $100 worth of NFTs. So stay tuned to find out how you can win some of those. Okay, let's get into the trailer. Welcome to Space Cartels. Play and earn metaverse. Space Cartels is the strategic economic browser and mobile game that lets you earn real money just by playing. As the boss of a cartel on Planet X, your goal is to build your empire and dominate the arena. To get started, you'll need to purchase a generator for 10 BUSD. Each generator provides 25 energy, which you can use to battle other players in the arena. Winning in the arena has its rewards. As the victor, you'll receive at least one generator, which you can then sell on the game market for 10 BUSD. And don't worry if you don't win. Top participants will receive Dark Matter tokens, or DMT, as a reward. Use your DMT to unlock mystery boxes, which may contain generators and other valuable items, including dust tokens. You can sell your dust tokens to other players on the in-game exchange as they're needed for arena battles. Dust tokens can also be used to open special chests that are released every few weeks, containing NFT equipment for your boss. The better your equipment, the better your chances of winning in the arenas. Start building your empire and earning real money every day in Space Cartels. So that's Space Cartels. Let's get into how you can connect your wallet and get playing this game right away and pick up some NFTs and start earning some of those tokens like DMT and Dust. So you can just go to the top right corner of the website. All the links, by the way, to today's episode will be down in the description below. Um, you'll also have all the socials there as well as the website. So connect your wallet by clicking on the top right. You'll, all you have to do is log into your MetaMask wallet. And then once you're in the Binance Smart Chain, you'll be able to log in with your wallet. You just do a signature request and then you're in. Then you can start getting ready. You can put your email address in and just click some of the boxes. And then when you click enter, you'll get into this menu where you're able to create your character. Now, if you want, you can change your character name. So rather than having it as your wallet, I'm obviously going to change it to shiny confirm and my nickname has now been changed. So people will see that um, the word sh the name shiny when they battle in arenas. So this is my boss and he's got my equipment on the left side. Backpack carries all my equipment. Uh, we've got stats there and any boosts that they have. So if you've got points, you can actually add some of those points into increasing their attack defense economy and morale so obviously like an attack and defense will affect how much damage you deliver and how much you take morale will affect who acts first so it's kind of like speed we've got the resources there like seeds because there's a whole ecosystem outside of the arenas see we've got resources there seeds and these are things that you can plant and actually grow and get resources this has a huge economy to this game quite complex in that you've got multiple in-game tokens that you are going to need to be able to buy things like mystery boxes as we saw in that trailer to be able to get NFTs that will upgrade you, make you stronger and progress in the game. So dust you can see here. And so here you can see in my storage, I have an amulet I can use that boosts my experience, all stats boost, dust day, uh, and that we get attack defense. So I can move that into my backpack We've got an epic sun skin as well, which we can move to the backpack. And I'll move this ring. Now we've got two epic rings there. Those are what I'm going to be giving away in today's episode. So if you want a chance to win one of those two rings, all you got to do is go down into the comment section below, post uh, anything you like with a watch code that will appear at a random point during today's video. Then go into a description where you'll find our Discord. Go to the competition wallet section and post your YouTube name and your wallet address. And then you'll be entered. You'll have a chance. We'll draw winners at the end of the week to win one of those two NFTs. I'm not 100% how I can send them yet because we don't have the ability. But I, I might be able to just sell them on the marketplace very quickly if you pick them up. But I'll work out a way to be able to do that. Now if we go to character on the left hand side, you can see I can now equip my ring really really quick and easy to use um, so we need body don't we so we can put that on him and um, we've got an amulet that can go there 
So then we can go to the arena. And so this is where you're going to be battling. You can see my power there. I don't have any generators, so therefore I have zero energy. Now I'm going to need energy to be able to participate in these. So I'm going to have to pick up one of these generators. Now currently they are 10 BUSD, as you can see, and you can also sell them for 10 BUSD. You receive $9.5 uh, though, because there's going to be a 5% fee for that. So if I go to my wallet, I can now deposit some BUSD. So you want to pick up some BUSD, very easy to get on any central exchange or decentralized exchange. And so now that's in my wallet, I can just click the amount that I want to deposit. So let's deposit 30 BUSD and click that. And then you'll get a transaction going through on your uh, MetaMask wallet. Confirm. And now what's going to happen is it's going to go into my balance and I will be able to use that to pick up some of those generators. As you can see, their funds are deposited to the cold wallet. It's not connected to the internet. Therefore, all the deposits are 100% safe. It also is going to mean that everything that you do in this, the transactions are going to be very, very quick. Um, so we've got that now. We can go to open generator trading and we can pick up one of these generators for 10 BUSD. Generator has been bought successfully. So now I'm going to have that energy that I need to be able to participate in those arena battles. So add energy firm you want to use a generator and there we go so we've got 25 energy now that we can participate in some of these battles now before you fight in the arena you might want to increase your stats by increasing your equipment you can see that I don't have all the equipment that can be used to fight in the arena. So there's three pieces missing there. I've got pants and we've got gloves and we've got helmet that can be added as well. So you can pick them up from the, the marketplace that they have. You can also pick them up in random uh, special event mint chests that they have. So this is one that they had. This is all minted out. And these can be bought with not only BUSD, but also dust. So it gives huge utility to that token. Now this, um, they actually, the last collection sold out in under two minutes so it's something that is under a lot of demand when they actually put those up and as you can see you can get access to mythics and mythical equipment uh, i've got epics so mythics will obviously increase your stats even further give you a chance better chance in the arena so let's actually battle in the arena now we've got our um our our energy that we needed to be able to participate now it doesn't just cost energy but it also costs dust so i can go and pick up some dust so if I do need 20 to be able to participate, um, but I'm going to just use 10 of my BUSD. So I'm going to buy $10 worth of dust. Um, and obviously if loads of people start buying dust, the price of it will go up. So you can buy and sell dust like any other token on any exchange. So if we click buy here, minimum order you can see is $1. So I'll buy some dust and it'll create an order. Note that that won't go through straight away. I have to wait for, for that order to be filled for somebody to buy that um, BUSD off me or sell their dust to exchange. Um, so once that's filled, then I will have access to be able to use that in the arena. So whilst we're waiting for that to be filled, we can check out some of the other arenas. So we have Novice and we have Novice Extra, mid-level arena, mid-level extra, and elite arena there being the biggest prize that is available. Uh, so to first place, you have uh, 181 DMT going to the winner. In first place for mid, we've got 90. So the prize pool obviously gets bigger the more that you invest in initially. We've got the participant number there, uh, registration, so you can actually access these, uh, sign up for them, and then when that time it runs out, that's when the um, the combat will actually start. Now you will see that also they have max power, so they have limits, and that's going to be good for making sure that everybody who has some equipment and is a novice can actually enter it and and actually compete with somebody who has. Um, the same max power then it's a great way of keeping it fair for people who are new to the game so if you want to pick up some nfts for this you can go to tofu nft that will be down in the description below for you to access as well nfts start from around 11 dollars, so you can pick up this poor x signet ring uh for 11 dollars 19 cents and then we go all the way up to the highest which we can see that we've got a crystal skull listed here so this is a mythic i believe and that's at 4,290. Um, we've had some orders. I believe 800 is the highest, one of the highest sold, which is 50x on the person's original investment in picking that NFT up. So obviously really, really lucrative to be able to pick up. 
you can see that people are buying this you know so we've got daily purchases of some of the common common stuff and then we have it a mythic ring paid 858 dollars so beyond 50x of what their initial investment was so as you can see it's performing really really well even in this bear market that we're in and you know with total volume of 100 bnb that's a really really good thing in this market i think that's a really really good result for a new game coming into the nft gaming space so once you purchase your nft off tofu nft you can then go to your storage and it will appear there then you can put it into your backpack where you'll then be able to equip it now, don't worry if you missed out on the exclusive edition chest. They will be doing more down the line. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I think the best way you can keep up to date with any updates in the game is via the socials. So definitely go give them a follow on Twitter. Again, links will be down in the description below. Uh, turn on notifications so you keep notified of when those things happen. Updates like the fact that 100,000 DMT has been earned in arena battles over the past two weeks. And that means nearly 4,000 generators of a total value of $40,000 has been used in this game. And we have more upgrades to level up in Space Cartels. And updates like the fact that they're adding the ability to level up in Space Cartels. And now, as you saw before with the point system that you can add, you can gain some levels and boost your stats to give you an edge in arena battles against other bosses. Or you can join their active Discord where they put out updates as well. So very important update. If you're not having any luck opening boxes from now, you can buy a generator for 200 DMT. So actually not um, purchasing it for BUSD. So adding a little bit more utility to the DMT token. And also things like new arena formula has been announced. So these changes can really impact, impact in your win rate. And you might have to adjust your squad and your things that you equip to your character to be able to come in line with making the best out of these changes. And for bigger details on progress, definitely go join their Medium page as well, so we keep up to date with any big changes, new things coming there. And if you're a free to play player, don't worry, there is ways to get involved in the game. For example, like this, they are having a competition where you can name the plant. Uh, so go to their Discord and participate in the contest there for a chance to win 5,000 dust for the best name and surprise rewards on top of that. So just go to the Discord and pop a random name like Fungal Purp Glow, <laughs> Purple Fungal, I don't know, just anything you want. I'm gonna name it Mush Bloom. Yep, and you have a chance to win. What I like about it is that they have a lot of information on the game. So we've got a beginner's guide to the game as well. So I definitely recommend reading this. Gear books are really good to be able to get an insight into the best ways to play. And it goes through the whole of the project, not just the battling the arenas. So how the play to earn works and also how you can create your character as we've been just been through. You've got character and the equipment that you can actually get for them and the impact on statistics and how they will affect your game. So economy gives you more health points. We saw morale giving you uh, the, the chance to determine who goes first, but also gives you a chance for a critical hit as well. So it's something very good to have. We've got NFTs discussed there, the purchasing of generators and a bit more detail on entering those arenas. SPC is the official token of Space Cartels and they're going to have an IDO for that in the next few months. The SPC is a great option if you want to invest in the growth of the Space Cartels project and it's the main token that's going to be run future games and every project revolving around the Space Cartels metaverse. So obviously as you have seen from the menu screen there are more things on the left hand side here than, than can be accessed at the moment. So we go up to mint chests and then below that we have city, we have base, we have commands, we have invasion, we have technology, we also have prison, shop and ranking as well as terms and conditions and disclaimer which you can access. So all of those features are going to be things that they are planning in the future and working towards building. So it's going to have a very, very complex, as we saw from the trailer, economy that runs through, you know, building up your city, planting seeds, getting resources, using those resources to things, acquiring chests, acquiring dust, purchasing some of these uh, entities when they go live, potentially increasing your NFT collection. It's picking up some mythics maybe. And I think why some of these mythics are so desirable is because there's so few in circulation. And that's good for NFT collections at the moment. We don't want a huge collection. So if we go to Tofu NFT, we can see that listed is 329. That's vastly different from these, you know, 10,000 plus 
collections that we see in projects and there is not the demand there um to meet what the huge supply that we have and so the value of them actually isn't worth very much whereas a project that has a very small amount of uh limited nfts available the demand is going to be a lot higher and that's why i think we're getting this daily activity on picking up some of these nfts as well as hitting prices that are beyond a hundred dollars for some of these nfts so getting the next um next collection getting the next mint if you can actually pick up and use dust not actually even have to use bosd because you've been working through the game then that's going to give you stuff that you can either use obviously to increase your win rate or you can sell them directly in the market and come out potentially with a profit all you'd have to do is you know invest a couple of a hundred and then pick up one epic and you're already making your money back so really good project looking strong we can see now that my dust has been filled so now you can see my dust has gone through and it took a lot longer because I was waiting for a better price. If you want to get it quicker, you can actually just match that lowest sell offer and it'll go through a lot quicker and you'll be able to use it. So let's go to the arena and check out the battling. Right, now we have enough dust to be able to register for a novice arena. Starting in three minutes, we'll be able to access that. So I'm gonna register that. It'll use up one energy and 100 dust click confirm and I've been registered to the arena. Now I have the option to choose upgrades. So we can see here that I've got boost attack plus 75% and plus 25% boost attack. So this is significantly better. So I'm gonna use some dust to boost my attack that big. And we've got higher minimum damage up 30% there. Now you can actually reroll for 10. So if I rerolled, I'm going to get some new um, items, new upgrades. So I'm going to boost dodge. I've got 275% is there, which is better than just one um, for attack. I mean, their attack would have been killer. Uh, but I'm going to click that. So, you know, obviously I can take a lot more damage um, and dodging will give me a huge chance of being able to miss some of the attacks that come my way. So we'll click confirm. And now those two upgrades are already equipped for my battle if we win we're going to get 17.7 dmt from that prize pool and that will give us the ability to actually open our first mystery box so we'll definitely do that once we've got it and now you one thing to know is that these tournaments they run automatically in that you can add um you can join more than one so if we go to the modest we've got max power of 100 we register for 100 dust one energy choose upgrades this time we get boost attack and boost morale so we're going to get higher um speed with that and so we're going to act first more likely and we're also going to have a higher chance of getting those critical hits 75 boost attack no brainer we don't need to re-roll we can click confirm for those and so whilst we are going through we'll take a look at the novice arena we'll watch that one and whilst that's happening, we're going to get the ability to actually have this run automatically in the background. So hopefully we'll rank fairly well um, across those two, two tournaments. So one thing I definitely like about this game is the user interface is really friendly. I think it, it shows all your resources, your wallet the information, so how much dust they've got, how much DMT, very, very clearly. Um, so you're not going through loads of different tabs to get to every piece of information. It's all nicely labeled there for you. And you can see there, I've got my experience bar. So zero out of 100 currently. And as I play more battles, increase my experience, I will have a chance to activate more points, which will increase some of my stats. Now, because we have four out of eight participants, the registration has reset. So we do need to be able to have... Um, all eight out of eight for us to begin otherwise it's extended another 15 minutes so if i go for and i get in the mid level what is my actual power so if we go to my character my power is 86 so it's not that strong so i'm actually not probably not going to be able to compete at the high levels um but it'll be worth just joining this one because i think we'll get in quicker um, so it's 7 out of 8, so it might be more likely to start. Increased defense, increased morale. Now on the 75%. Yes, so we've got higher morale and higher morale again. Um, yep, 50%. Oh, you have to spend a lot more dust to be able to make those upgrades. Right, we're ready. Arena has started preparing. So you can see in the top 
right there. We can now go to watch. So let's see what's happening in our battle. Okay, right, we're ready to start a battle. So we add our special boost. We've got increased defense by 25 uh, with a 75%. And Icarium uses higher minimum damage, higher morale by zero. So one thing to notice is make sure you check what your stats are because if you're going to use 100% of morale, 0%, this is where I went wrong in one of the battles you'll see. Uh, <laughs> you, you, don't, you, know, you don't want to put it on that. So put it on your strongest thing, which is clearly for me defense with this increased defense and attack. So we're taking some big hits on him and Akarium is a loser. That's round one. And so now we go into the next round where we're facing somebody else. They have a double boost attack as their perks that they've added on, meaning their attack is 154. Wow. So we're gonna need our defense to come out good and hopefully that boosted dodge does well. Okay, so we did some high, whoa, 154 damage. That's not good. But the next hit is minus 21. So that may have been a critical hit. Um, it's very, very close. Oh, no, minus 46. Minus 67. And a hit. That's it. We've won. 13 health left. We beat Solfi. Loser. And it looks like we go into the next round. So round three, we're up against a uh, wallet address. He hasn't changed his nickname. And... We're going up against higher minimum damage and increased boost dodge. Okay. He's got a gun. But no armor on his no chest plate. No vest. And he's doing some big hits to us. Okay. Uh we just did minus minus one damage. Took to one damage off him. That's not good. We're gonna have to get some big hits in and some big dodges here if we're gonna win. Nope. Dodge, dodge. No, minus 76. Wow. Ouch. Okay, so we came second, though. With eight participants, we still got 12.9 DMT. Now, let's go check out our other arena matches. So let's check out the mid arena. So this is where I'm going in with way under 100, 250 max power that is uh, the, the, the cap for this, this arena. So I'm going in, as you can see, this is where I've made a mistake. Higher morale, where I've got zero morale equals zero <laughs> so it does not help me in any way uh this dude gets 254 critical damage you could kill me could even one shot me uh position five to eight but i still get dmt so we've got 9.68 dmt for that but obviously i invested more energy and more dust to be able to play in that so it is definitely worth playing sticking to the novice arenas until you have got the equipment or leveled up enough to have to reach that cap of 250 energy and go on to those other ones but with those higher ones there is higher rewards so this way you know equipping yourself with some good nfts is definitely recommended higher morale again i've gone for it and messed up get boosted attack um but it's not doing anything for me they've got increased defense which is weakening my shots and higher minimum damage as well and in this one even though it's novice arena i go out first time you gotta remember there's rng involved you know so you you aren't always gonna win even if you have the best stats which is really good for it because it means that every now and then even if you don't have the best equipment you could potentially get first place and pull that you know big prize of dmt we still got 2.55 dmt though um in that definitely picking a better stat is is good well, here we go in with huge dodge on this novice arena 175 percent we got as you can see we dodged the attack they've dodged their attack they hit us do 77 damage we don't manage 62 so they're going to do heavy damage but hopefully we get a few dodges in we get minus five damage nice minus 14 is so little minus 49 is a big hit very small hit oh it's just alive now nah, we're not getting enough damage on him because he's got this huge increased defense minus four that's weak and we haven't we pulled one dodge we get another dodge in nope it's not enough so definitely those boosts are essential i think in in actually winning some of your rounds and getting that chance to rank higher 
Um, but it's great in terms of the set out, the layout, the user interface looks really, really good, really, really clean in terms of play. You can follow it nice with the battle live log. And obviously you can compare your stats easily against another person, see where you're at in comparison to other people in the novice arena. And if you're checking out some of the higher arenas, you can see what stats you need to go in from the, the mid game that I played. Now let's use that DMT and go open some mystery boxes. So these cost 10 DMT per one. You get that free one if you pick pick 10 up at the same time so i just want to show you how the, the action works very very smooth as you can see 300 dust from that one so having spent 300 dust on the actual match we can see that i've got the 300 dust straight back um so i could go into that same one i mean i'm not going to battle in that because it is too high um and we're just short on our dmt no it's only weird now we've got 12 should go through there we go yep so next one we could get some seeds oh we got seven uranium okay so we've got something new so that's gonna be helpful down the line and now we can go back into the arena and you could just match up register for another one and click confirm choose upgrades see what we got we've got higher morale boost dodge i'm gonna re-roll Oh, 100% boost dodge and 75% higher morale. Yes, please. Okay, that could really, really help. And yeah, so we can keep going into as many arenas as we like. There's no limit on how much you can do a day other than the fact that obviously your energy is going to be a factor. But you can buy as many generators as you like. I could buy more and get another 25 energy so I can start buying that. And, and the thing is, you'd be building up resources, things like uranium and dust, that you'll be able to use and have a lot of utility down the line, especially across some of the other game modes that they're going to be creating in future. So if you want to have a bit more of an in-depth look at this project, definitely check out the, the Git book in, in more detail. It provides a lot of detail on the project. And um, other than that, you can see I've nearly got my experience up higher and therefore I'll be able to go into my character menu here and scroll down. And at that point, I will be able to spend some of my um, some of my points. And as you can see, I've earned 99 experience. So one away from being able to level up and then I'll be able to get that point that I can put into some of my stats, increasing my chances to be able to participate. And maybe get me up to a max power of 100 will make a enough of a difference for me to win that every single time 17.7 um so almost two crates it's, it's definitely worth waiting until you've got 100 um well 90 dmt for the 10 mystery boxes because you're getting one for free so you might as well uh with the 50x you're saving um 100 dmt so even though it's five times more than the 10 times you're getting 100 dmt uh, saved so 400 makes the average price of a mystery box 8 DMT rather than 10 uh, average for this one is 9 of course um, so yeah definitely worth waiting for that but if you can hold out this is a bit better um, you're obviously going to need some of the dust to keep cycling in so you can participate in the arenas so um, take that into account that you might not be able to hold out unless you're investing a lot of BUSD and picking up a lot of generators um, and picking up some dust. It's not too expensive on the uh, in-game trading at the moment. So um, you could just pick up a big stack enough to last you long enough to get to that 50 point. Okay, well that is Space Cartels. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Don't forget to go down into the comment section below post so you can get involved in the giveaway of some of those nfts um yeah hopefully you've enjoyed it check out all the links to this will be down in the description below that's all for this one see you guys soon